Hello, I'm Lynn Finch with another no cash allowance video for parents, homeschoolers, and anyone interested in preparing the next generation. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to explain the real technology of ATMs to your kids. Kids think that an ATM is a magical piggy bank. They see money come from the machine, but they don't know the real technology of those ATMs. One bank survey showed that 40% of five-year-olds believe you use a plastic card to get free money from a machine. Kids believe what they see. For most kids, their early ex experience with money is cash and a piggy bank. They know if they put money in, there is money to take out. If they see a lot of cash in their piggy bank, they may think they have a lot of money, yet they don't know how much money it is in it unless they physically count it. And that can be deceiving in knowing the actual amount. Now, you can tell your kids that an ATM really is a counting machine. It counts all the money, but how did the money get there? Just as kids drop money in a piggy bank, you as a parent transfer money to the bank so it can make it available through the ATM and that money can be transferred into your bank accounts and you can pull it out and put it in and put it in and it goes in and out and it is a lot of these are cashless so your kids aren't seeing you taking money to the bank. They're just seeing you getting cash out of the machine. But the ATM is a very accurate counting machine. It knows to the penny how much money you have. You can ask it, what is my balance? And it will tell you. And when you get your receipt, you can also see how much is remaining. And that's the experience you would want to create for your kids at home. You would want them to see how that number changes when they put money in or take money out. And the way to do that is with a written account. Think of this as a checking account where you add and subtract, but you always know what the bottom line is. So when the kids see the numbers going in and out, they will also get a better understanding of cash flow, and they will also always know how much money they have. And the no cash allowance system, as explained in my book, shows how to do this with kids starting as young as three years old up through high school graduation. Now here's an example of the no cash allowance in action in our house. My girls wrote their weekly allowance in their account and updated their balances. We went shopping. I paid for their purchases using my credit card. And then when we got home, they added up their purchases and subtracted them from their account. This was like debit card spending long before debit cards were available. And in this way, they were seeing the numbers change based on their decisions. If they spent, the number went down. If they didn't spend, it didn't go down. If they got their allowance or deposited other money, the number went up. up. And kids like bigger numbers. So they do feel a little bit of pain when they subtract because the number gets smaller. Now throughout this whole experience, no cash exchanged hands, yet everyone knew exactly what happened, just like your ATM machine. Deposits were made, account balances got bigger, purchases were made, and account balances got smaller. Part of the learning experience for your kids is keeping track of their money. Seeing the balance go up and down is a great way for them to learn that. If kids believe what they see, shouldn't they start seeing that their money is a number? You don't need a magical piggy bank to teach kids money is a number. A no cash allowance can. And you don't need an allowance app to do this. So kids believe what they see. Let them see that money is a number starting now. You can click on the link below and go to my website and read the complete blog, and you can also order my book there. You can download allowance logs for kids starting as young as preschool and eventually helping them uh, set up a spreadsheet when they get older and using a computer. And please subscribe and share with other parents. Thanks for listening.